941 in the Fox 61 by Carrier Kitchen. Uh, dietitian, big time, big shot dietitian, Toby Amador back with us. She's written how many cookbooks? Ten. Ten. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Uh, here to give you some alternatives, uh, better, healthier alternatives to uh, bringing stuff to the barbecue. Be honest with me right now. Uh -huh. You get invited to a barbecue. Yes. Do people dread what you're going to bring because it's going to be like healthy stuff? Oh, here comes Toby. Make no, us, no, because I bring this, <laughs> and then I bring actually my famous chocolate chip cookies. Oh, okay. So you can have one yeah, of those. At down, the end. Balances out. <laughs> nice to see you again. Nice uh, to see you. Toby is uh, best known if you've seen her, if you've read her cookbooks, and if you haven't, what's wrong with you? Uh, you <laughs> normally do these uh, these uh, big dishes with just a few ingredients, right? And, yes. And they're, they're, they build uh, immunity. Uh, to, and they're healthy and all this, all this stuff. So the, the salads that we're going to show you, there would be the, see, three ingredients. That's all you need. <laughs> um, we're going to show you some, some different salads, and they don't involve, A, a lot of ingredients, and B, a lot of work. Right, yeah. yes. And they're still healthy. And they're still okay. healthy. And then we're mm -hmm. going to put one together at the end. Let's start. Uh, we'll go uh, right to left. And we'll start with a little pasta salad. Right. You can't have a barbecue without pasta Right, you salad. can't have. Right. So it's pasta salad or potato salad, whichever mm -hmm. one you want. But right. what I do is, first of all, I up my veggies. That's okay. my new cookbook in okay. September, up my veggies. So Shameless I'm replacing, yeah, right. there you go. I, I'm replacing some of the pasta with veggies. Mm -hmm. So then you're decreasing a little of the carbs, but you're getting that vegetable. Because let's be honest, there is no hard and fast rule of having having a veggie to pasta ratio in your pasta salad. That's right. Right. And okay. you can put in whatever you want. I put some olives, I put some okay. peppers, cucumbers, right. and then I use not just ma a mayo, I'll do a light mayo, but uh -huh. I'll do a 50-50, like quarter cup, quarter cup, right. with some Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt is mm -hmm. your friend and stuff like this, yes. right? Okay. Yes. All right. So, it's a, and, and again, just by cutting out some of the uh, mayonnaise, Replacing it with the Greek yogurt, much mm -hmm. better. Okay, there that leads go. to one of my favorite things. I yeah, love cucumber I grew salad. up. Yeah, my mom used to make me the cucumber salad. It's super low in calories, mm -hmm. so it's about per serving. It's about forty calories or right. so. Mm -hmm. um, and so what I'm doing is I am using a mandolin or cutting, very, slicing very sli uh, thinly the cucumber. So you feel like you're eating less. So nah, you feel like now. Works, but right. then you actually want to take the water out. So you put it on some baking sheets. You put some salt on it, and oh, then you squeeze out the liquid. You let it sit for an hour. What what does that do for uh, health reasons? For health reasons, it's not doing much. Right. But in terms of for the salad, it just Ooh. helps. It just helps. It's not so crunchy. It becomes a little. I mean, it is crunchy, but not right. as you would as a as a raw cucumber. But it helps okay. get the flavor in there. And okay. then I put some onions and some peppers. Do you have to use less flavor because of that? Because it's it, it's it, you can taste it. Well, it has salt in it, so I don't right. have to add salt. But okay. I do use an unseasoned rice vinegar, mm -hmm. and I use a lot of dill. A lot of dill and, and, and a yeah. little rice vinegar, like what you see in my sweaty little palm right there. Okay, onto go. the potatoes. I do these all the time. Throw, slice them up. And so throw I them, buy, throw them yeah, the I buy a bag of potatoes, and then mm -hmm. I just because they can stay at room temperature, I'm good, and right. then I'll slice them. For me, my obsession lately is the tajin. Oh, no, it's not just you. Uh, <laughs> Tim Lammers got me into this stuff, and I think we should buy stock into it because I think everybody on the team uses tajin. And what's the flavor like? So it's chili, mm -hmm. chili powder, um, lime, and salt. Right. It's like what they put on top of margaritas. It's not spicy at all, but it's got, oh, such great flavor. And with vegetables, it's amazing. Right, and then finish off with? Okay, so we have a watermelon salad, mm -hmm. and that's watermelon with feta, some mm -hmm. cucumbers in there, right. and then again, I'm using a red wine vinegar, a lot less calories, a lot fewer calories than those heavy mayo based. That, you said that's mint? That's mint in yeah, there too. Would, so I'll, just really refreshing. I love that. We're gonna make a, a bean a bean salad now because again that's a, that's a fiber, staple. Fiber, fiber, fiber. Fiber. What do we got? We got uh, two beans. So two. you have cannellini beans and kidney beans. Now be honest, because I said, oh, it's three bean salad, and you said two beans. I said, is that how we're 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 saving some calories here? No, we're just making it quicker. Okay. If you like three beans, add a third uh -huh. bean. What else we have? So you have some parsley, red onion, and then the, you have some celery. You're just gonna throw throw the whole thing, and actually oh, it calls for. I measured it sorry. for you. Making your life easy. Sorry, sorry. And then you're gonna put. I didn't um, come to rehearsal. Yeah, a rib of celery. Okay. Do you have to put celery in? Because I think celery is like oh the worst boy, thing in the world. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, how so we, how and are this we? is again, this is the dressing. I made it with white wine vinegar, some mm -hmm. extra virgin olive oils, salt, pepper. That's when, super when you simple. Buy, when you buy those packets and they call for vinegar, obviously oil and vinegar. What can you sub to make it a little healthier? When, oh, when you buy the packets? Right. Well, you, oil is fine. It's just the ratio of right. it. And then I'm also adding herbs in here. Mm -hmm. So it's it's really not that calorically heavy. This right. is about four people, six people it can there, serve. There you go. 
Yeah. I would just eat it like this, but <laughs> probably wouldn't like that. All the all the stuff in her recipe, all her recipes, I should say, in the book on the website. You know the drill, Toby Amador. Nice to see you. Thank you so and much for having me. Please come back when the tenth cookbook comes out. What's it called again? Up your veggies. Up your veggies. That's maybe the only time I've ever said something like that on the air. <laughs> Erica and Rachel. <laughs> I like it. Up your we can all up our veggies. Up I, your I veggies. Think so. yes. 